My name is Rocket Ethereal, and today we're going to delve into that most horrific and controversial of video game genres, the walking simulator. This is Barrage. Walking simulator controversy boils down to one question. Are walking simulators such as Gone Home and the title I'm playing here, Electric Highways, video games? The short answer? No, they are not games. The long answer is pretty long, so hang in there. Your first instinct, I hope, would be to consult the dictionary as to what a game is. We run into some kinks pretty fast when we try to do that, though. Merriam-Webster says that a game is an activity engaged in for diversion or amusement. The Oxford Dictionary, however, says that a game is a form of play or sport, especially a competitive one played according to rules and, and decided by skill, strength, or luck. Now, which one of those sounds more like a game to you? It could be argued that movies, books, and YouTube videos are all games based on the Merriam-Webster's definition because all of the above are indeed activities that are engaged in for diversion or amusement. Yes, sitting there and processing visual and audio information is an activity. Are you playing a game right now? It seems like some of our dictionaries are a bit outdated on what a game actually is. According to this to the clearly superior definition, which specifies that games generally involve competition or fail states, we've just stricken walking simulators in general from the record. I'm not here to make an argument based on dictionary definitions, though. I'm just getting those out of the way. The other definition that we need to settle on is the definition of a walking simulator. The reason it's so important that we decide on a definition for this term is because, well, Nearly every first-person shooter in existence requires walking or running, and there's a spectrum of games with varying levels of interactivity leading from Doom and Quake all the way down to the Stanley Parable and Gone Home. Doom and Quake are based entirely around interactivity. The Stanley Parable, however, has barely any interaction throughout its entirely, other than the walking itself. Unfortunately, the only major source of definitions which has attempted to define the term walking simulator is, you guessed it, Urban Dictionary. Here's what they have to say on the subject, paraphrased. A walking simulator is a video game genre where the walking is a big part of the experience. Well, let's try to, to improve on Urban Dictionary's definition because I'm really finding it lacking. Let's say instead that a walking simulator is a game which relies on a combination of abstracts and simple movements to create value. Here's how I got to crafting that definition. Let's compare two games, Real Mist and the game I'm playing here, Electric Highways. Real Mist is a fully explorable three-dimensional version of old point-and-click classic Mist, which allows you to freely move through the environment. On all accounts, most of the game is walking around, and there's a significant narrative to be told through your exploration of the game's worlds. We can't classify it as a walking simulator, though, because there is a genuine challenge to it. Mist is all about puzzles, and not just abstract narrative puzzles. The game world is chock full of objects that interact with each other to change the environment and unlock new areas, and there are many objects that act as physical puzzles that require you to stare at your screen and rack your brain over how you are to proceed. Ultimately, Real Mist isn't incredibly different from Electric Highways, but that's why we're making this the dividing line for what is and is not a walking simulator. This is the key difference. Electric Highways has non-linear levels with sparse and minimal puzzles. Nearly all interactivity in the game is activating a panel, then finding the part of the level geometry that was modified from you activating that panel. Then you can pr proceed through the level geometry. This is much different from Mist, where changing, where activating a panel will change something in the level, but there's usually multiple aspects to what you're changing that you have to understand before you're able to proceed. The interactions in themselves are a puzzle. There is not enough focus on any sort of difficulty in electric highways. For the most part, just walking around for long enough will get you where you need to go. From this distinction, we can conclude that real mist and everything with greater interactivity is not a walking simulator. They are puzzle games or fit into other genres. Everything with less interactivity, starting with electric sheep and going down from there, is most certainly a walking simulator. There's more to the picture though. We haven't even touched on fail states or content trends yet. We've only scratched the surface on walking simulators, and I will be continuing discussion on the subject in coming videos, so stay tuned. This has been Barrage.